Why do we cry when we're happy? Emotional tears are usually associated with being sad. So why does the same negative reaction occur when we're overcome with a positive emotion, like joy or relief? Yale psychologists came up with an explanation. Emotional regulation. Tears of joy come on when our emotions are especially intense. When emotions are this strong, your body has a hard time controlling basic cognitive, social, and psychological functions. So the faster you can recover, the faster you can take control again. According to Yale psychologist Oriana Aragon, crying is one of the best ways to do this. People who do this seem to recover better from those strong emotions. Aragon and her colleagues conducted a study where she examined people's reactions to emotionally provoking images, like photos of cute babies. They discovered that people who have so-called negative reactions, like wanting to pinch the baby's cheek, could moderate intense emotions more quickly. But why is it important to regulate your emotions at all. Past research has shown that people who can regulate their emotions report better overall well-being and less psychological distress than those who suppress their feelings. And a good cry can be healthy too. Emotional tears can contain higher levels of stress hormones, including leucine and kephalin, an endorphin and natural painkiller. So the next time you're at a wedding and notice a grown man overflowing with tears, it's just emotional regulation at work.